Making the beach to beacon a carbon neutral event is easier said than done. Every tweak to the system is a step forward. A step towards sustainability by encouraging participants to carpool or bike to the start line. About 300 bikes we're expecting, maybe more this year. Volunteers, spectators and runners. And over the years, the race continues to reduce its impact on the environment, earning it an evergreen certification, the highest awarded by the Council for Responsible Sport. This year, the Beach to Beacon is up for recertification, and they are looking at other ways to be eco-friendly. Get all the spectators there and for everybody to travel to and from the race. It's actually a pretty big carbon footprint. Revision Energy making four of these trailers generating clean solar energy. This one is going to the race. The other three are still in Puerto Rico for Hurricane Maria relief. It has locking cubby holes with two 110 volt outlets inside. People at the race, they can charge their cell phones, uh, they can charge laptops, and we're gonna actually power the uh, public address system for the award ceremony. Along the 6.2 mile course, mile markers show the way. Instead of large balloons, this year with a partnership with sea bags, they were hoping for a greener way to navigate the course. We talked about what we could do and what they could do. And I think it's very mission sensitive to both of us, so it's a great fit. Two 37 by 29 inch panels. The two panels will be stitched together. This, as you can see, is mile marker two. Then after the race, we are going to be making them into totes. Sold to the highest bidder, and all proceeds will be donated to the telling room, the race's beneficiary. Tara Nupp is hoping the design will help her sail on by. For me, seeing you know this mile marker will hopefully put a little additional skip into my step. <laughs> and wishing for the wind at their back. I'm Clay Gordon, News Center, Maine. And organizers ask anyone who attends to bring some extra shoes or clothing during bib pickup, and all of the donations will benefit the Preble Street Resource Center.